So, hi everyone. Nice to meet you again on Wednesday afternoon. It's Marcus time and today we are going to talk about how to outsmart the human factor in uh, trading, including what is it? It's a game of math or it is a human one, trading especially. And uh, negative and positive effects of the human factor in trading and how to turn your weaknesses into strengths. My name is Marcus Gabel. I'm a professional uh, trader, speaker, trader, of course, and life coach. And of sure, I love trading together with you guys. And I've been trading the global markets for over 20, 22 years right now. And more information about myself, you will find on my homepage. You can see here in that uh, slide. In this webinar series, uh, Trading Spotlight, I'm partnering with Admiral, Bro Admiral Markets, which is a Forex and CFD broker with, uh, that offers trading on over 8,000 different financial instruments through one of the world's best trading platforms, MetaTrader 5. Finally, if you are watching this on YouTube, remember to like this video, share it with uh, other traders, and subscribe so you will never miss an episode. I make sure, please make sure that you stay online until this end of the webinar when I'll be showing you how you can find your own strategy you feel comfortable with. And let's start with a really interesting topic for today. Trading, is it a math game? or it is a human game. What do you think? And I can see on the right side, their chat is open. Welcome to you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, some sentence, some ideas you want to share with me, type it in a chat box. You know, trading is not a rocket science. Trading, you can learn trading, but uh, we have to figure out how we can find our own strategy. You can be successful with it. So, why do we come to trading, guys? Maybe you think by yourself at the moment, why do you, once, why do you came to trading? I guess all of us, myself too, uh, years ago, um, I came to trading because we wanted to make money. And I came to trading by the same reason. We want to make money. And of course, the best, we can make it really quick and easy and we are looking until today to have a quick and easy way to make money very fast. And uh, let us confess to each other, everything looks really easy and fine as long as we make a profit. Yes, and, uh, and to be honest, in the beginning when we start with trading, it looks like really easy. We can read some papers, we can watch some webinars, we can watch this one and we can follow some uh, experienced traders and trading as itself looks really easy. So push the button, go long or go short and make money. And sometimes in the beginning, it works exactly in that way. And this is the worst thing you can experience when you make profit with your first trades. Maybe you made this experience and maybe you remember this time you feel like the king of trading. You made your first trades, the first one, two, three trades were winners and you think, oh, let's do it. Let's quit my job. I'm a trader. I can do it. And um, after, as long as you make profit, it's not the, not the problem. It looks like really easy. And especially in this stage, and this is my own experience, I didn't realize that I made different profits with every trade. I followed special rules. 15 years ago, when I started with trading, almost 20 years, uh, I followed some rules. Uh, I guess at this time it was some indicators, uh, RSI. So I had some rules and I followed them and I really made, I made a lot of money at that time. But uh, I didn't realize that I had different results. Why? I didn't realize it. I made profit 
and I couldn't understand how the game works at that time. So, and it looks really fine as long as you make your profits. Maybe you made the same experience like me. However, however, after a while, you, re you will realize you have your strategy, but you made by yourself different results. Sometimes you made 1%, or if you take dollars, sometimes with a, with a trade, you made $100, sometimes you made uh, $20. Sometimes you have a huge winner, three, four, five hundred dollars, or maybe you double your account. Sometimes it happened and it could work, but you didn't realize, or after a while, even you made losses, you realize, oh, the results are completely different. Sometimes I have small winners, sometimes I have medium winners, and sometimes I have huge winners. And sometimes, I made some losses. Even you follow your chosen strategy. How can that be? What, how does it work? I cannot grab it. I cannot catch it in my mind because I'm not educated in that way. I cannot understand that. So, and once you experience losses, even you follow your rules or your strategy, it's confusing. We cannot understand this point. Why? We are not educated in that way. We use to do it always in the same way. You follow rules, you get your results. You follow the same rules, you, the rules, you follow the, you get the same result. And now, after a while, you realize you have different results and more worse, you make losses even you follow your strategy. Did you ever make this experience? Please type it in the chat box. It would be really interesting for me if you made, or if you make actually a little bit experience like that way. Maybe you have a little bit of time and type it in the chat box that I can see it here. Or if you watch this later on YouTube, this video, type it below this video if you made same experience that I know we are on the same page. So I made a lot of experiences in that way. So what's the job right now? We must try to figure out how we can win and lose money even though you are sticking to the rules. How does it work? First of all, you can use your back test or investigate your strategy. This is a job. And this needs hard work. No one ever said trading is really easy on a long run. And if you want to figure out how you can lose and win money by your strategy, you have to make a back test or by yourself manually investigate your strategy. In trading, numbers, only numbers tell you the truth about your rules and your strategy. Your feelings, your emotions, what do you think is not really important in trading. Believe me, this one point, guys, trading or the market doesn't care about you and me. Never, ever. So you have to make your investigation by a backtest, for example. So backtest is a really interesting way to see how your strategy work or have worked in the past. Please be careful about this interesting uh, sentence. A backtest can show you how your strategy have worked in the past. And here, guys, here's a really, really big mistake or misunderstanding of most of traders that work with such kind of backtesting. So, for example, let's take an easy strategy. Maybe the 500 crosses the 100 moving average line. This is a really interesting strategy. It works. So, and maybe 
Now you want to figure out, for example, if that strategy works in five minute chart. Of course, you want to be a day trader and you want to make an easy strategy, you choose this one. It's really easy. 500 crosses the 100 and uh, now you use MetaTrader 5. Take this strategy, you can do it in MetaTrader 5 and make this backtesting. And now you get a result. Only what kind of result uh, is not interesting. It is interesting how you can read it here, the profit factor must be uh, greater than one than if you have a strategy which is working. But now, listen to me guys, and I made the same mistake in my past. If you make a back test about this strategy, 500 crosses 100 moving average line in five minutes, for example, your computer make this backtesting and the computer doesn't have any emotions. The computer in the backtesting took every signal you get in the viewed time frame you made your backtest. Maybe you make a backtest for the last three, four, five months by five minutes. And you get a profit factor maybe 1.17 or 3 maybe. And you can see, oh, great strategy that works. I will do it. Never forget, guys, never. The computer or your software which made this back test has no emotions. The computer never think about the time or if you are in a mood or if you feel fear or greed or hope or regret, no, nothing, not at all. But now, if you want to have the same result like the back test showed you in, in your result of the back test, then you have to make sure that you can do the same in the future. Because the back test says nothing out about the future. It is the past. And you know, trading is a game of probability. If you want to have the same result, you have no guarantee that this back testing, which shows you a positive or a wonderful result, you will get the same in the future. But if you want to make the same, you have to make sure that you are able to take every signal you will get from that moment you start with this strategy, you do the same. You have to take every signal. You cannot be delayed on your PC. You have to take every signal, whatever it takes. It's not interesting if you are not in the mood. It's not interesting if your wife is calling you as a guy, Danny, honey, we have to, get, we have to buy some, thing, some stuffs right now. You have to trade. You have to take any signal which shows you the market in that moment. Never forget that. Otherwise, your backtesting is bullshit. If you cannot make sure that you're able to repeat and to do the same the computer will do. Never forget that. And this is a great, great misunderstanding of people that work with backtesting and they say, oh, I will choose this strategy. This is really good. And I do it in five minutes. Can you make sure that you catch every signal in the future? No mood, no question of time, no question of account size. No question of feeling fear or news coming out or something else or fundamental data or you are sick or something else. You have to take every signal. If you want to have the same result, please never forget that. By running a back test, you will get a lot of numbers. And this is the most important uh, one being your profit factor. 
This tells you, is your strategy, if profitable, is profitable or not. Every number which is greater than one shows you that your strategy is profitable. The higher, the better, of course. So, but there is a special number which requires your attention. Profit factor is like a little bit foundation. That's the basement. If you have a profit factor lower than one, 0 0.95, forget it. It's not profitable. You need at least one. If you have one, on a long run, you can be successful with that. The higher, the better. Okay, now you know this strategy is really profitable. Let's do it. But we have to, we have, to have a look at a special number. The special number is your maximum drawdown. The drawdown shows you how many losses you will have in a row, even you have a profitable strategy. And if you are not satisfied with that number, so look at the maximal drawdown, 0 0.56, 0 0.01%. But if you are not satisfied with that, it's at least 0.56, it's not too less. So you can see, and uh, all the other numbers, but if you are not satisfied with such a number, with such a huge number of losses, you must scrutinize your strategy to see if you can make some adjustments. Because that means the drawdown phase is too high. Let me tell you a little story. Maybe you, uh, maybe you know the, um, how should I say, the turtle traders. Big story. Turtle traders, one of the famous trader ever until today. Normal trench trader, breakouts and something else. And once they get a paper from their boss, an email from their boss, after the complete company, all of them wait with, work with, wait, word, worked with one strategy, turtle traders, that's a community, that had 70, not 17, 70% drawdown phase, 70%. Then they got an email from their boss, which lines the sentence, please reduce your risk, we are in a drawdown phase, 70, 70% 70 guys. And turtle traders were one of the famous traders ever and one of the successful Trevor, uh, traders ever, 70%. Now imagine you would have 70% drawdown phase. Of course, you think by yourself, Jesus, I have to scrutinize this strategy. I need to make some adjustments for that. And now, based on my experience after 20 years in this business right now, believe me, you can make as many adjustments as you want. You will never, never, ever reduce the number of losses down to zero. Never. Why is it? Trading guide, this is indeed a game of math, numbers, probabilities, but not in that way most of people think. When we start, when we once we started with trading, we think, and all the others, they start with trading as well, they can keep making adjustments until they get only profits. Again, why is it? It is the way we are thinking in human part. That's the way we are educated. This is the way our mindset is working. Compare it please with your life. If you follow rules, you know everything is fine and you never get a punishment. If you miss something, you get a punishment. 
That's our life is working in that exactly in that way. Vincenzo, hi. This is the kind of our mindset is working. If you follow rules in your job, in the traffic jam maybe, or in your relationship, something else, you follow rules, everything is fine, you get a result. And actually, it's interesting. Actually, I have a coaching with a wonderful guy. He is an informatic guy and he worked for big companies and he used to control math. He makes some uh, creations to build some uh, clouds and something else. And he know if I create these numbers, I get this result as an informatic man. Informatic man, yes. So, um, but he also knows if I miss my result, I made a mistake in my numbers, in my, uh, in my form, in my formula. And now you can fix it and you get your result. Everything is fine. And we come to trading, we think, okay, so trading is a game of numbers, of course, and math, probabilities. We can, keep, we can keep making adjustments to get only profits. Let me tell you guys, after 20 years, one of the biggest mistakes ever. You can do what you want. You will never reduce this number of losses down to zero. Never, ever. And I know a big, big uh, community here in Germany, they had a profit factor or they have a, a hit quote of almost 98%, 98. But what do they do? Break out, break out in futures that take as a result or they take uh, targets of only two or three pips or points. Yes, in, out, move away. So they had almost 90, 98% of hit quote. That's really good. But less people are really successful with it. But one trade, and maybe you have five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 winners in a row. Always 1.2.3 point, point, points as a winner. This is the, the result of this high hit quote if you only have a target for two or three points. But if you ever have a loser and you cannot control it, this is the human factor, you lose everything. Because with one trade and they have a huge stop loss, he's far away. Otherwise, you cannot have such a big and huge number of hit quote. It doesn't work otherwise. But once you have a big loss, you destroy all your winners. So a high number or a huge number of hit quote says nothing about a success on your account. Nothing. Never believe or trust such numbers. Everything is fine if you have a profit factor more than one, then you have the chance to become successful on the long run. So, but this is, that's our two facts, guys. You can do nothing to reduce the number of losses down to zero. And it makes no sense to keep making adjustments until you only get profits. Never works. Question, guys. Is it possible to, ask, to adjust all your settings so that 100% of your trades end in a profit. Keep cool, close your eyes and think realistically about it. And then I have to ask you, and this is a question, my mentor once he asked me and he said to me, Marcus, do you really know, do you really think that you are the chosen one? Do you really believe that you are the Harry Potter of trading? Really? Do you really think that you are smaller than all the guys working around the world in that industry? We have so many smart guys in China, in India, 
in USA, in Russia, so really, really smart guys, their job is only to figure out algorithm to make, to have a little bit edge in trading. And you believe you are the chosen one? You are the Harry Potter of trading? Of course, guys, <laughs> it would be amazing, sure. But to be honest, it's not really realistic, is it? Not really, okay? So we have to accept this inevitable truth that we are not the chosen one. And of course, uh, would it be possible to have a 100% strategy. Do you really believe someone had figured it out it already? Really? Think about it. If there would existing a 100% strategy outside there, believe me, in our time, in this generation, in this, um, in this year, someone would figure out it. We have almost uh, KI, uh, we have high frequency trading, but it's not possible. Why? We have around the world the human factor. So please ask this by yourself. Do you really think that you are the chosen one? Is it, it would be amazing, but is it really realistic? Please. Think a little bit about it, okay? So we have to think, uh, we have to uh, talk about the impact of the human factor on trading. And once you have realized and accepted that you are not the chosen one, your mind is going to open to real insights of trading. First of all, we have to accept this inevitable thing that trading is a game of probabilities. And, it's, and it is subjected to the law of big numbers. So, did you ever heard that sentence or this terminology, big numbers? What is the law of big numbers? Now, let's talk about it. The law of big numbers is simply that if, that if you make enough trades, there will be some losers, no matter how good your strategy is. You always have some losers. So maybe by you made a back testing, you can see the average number of winning and losing trades you will have over the whole time. So let's say maybe you have 10 trades and you have six winners and four losers. Then you have a positive and profitable uh, and a wonderful profit factor greater than one, but, and always here comes the big but, but what you never will know is when the winners or losers will occur. Even you have a profit factor of 1.7, you could have six or seven losses in a row. Remember the story of the turtle traders? 70% drawdown phase. So that means from about, about 100 trades, 70 trades were losses. That's a really huge number, but they were really successful in that kind of trading. And now imagine this, and maybe you made some experience in that way, if you trade with real money, real money, your own money you deserve, you, uh, it's your reward and or it's uh, for your retirement and something else. Behind that money, all your dreams, all your hopes on that line is really hard to cope. One, one loss is not a really a problem, right? Two losses, is not really a problem, right? A third loss, ah, that's the first time you will think about it. 
the fourth loss or the fifth loss, the sixth or seventh loss, latest as the fourth or the fifth loss, there is a small guy on your shoulder. That's the devil and the angel, you know that? The angel says, come on, it's a big number. It's a big love, big number. Go on, go on, take the next one again. But on the left side, the devil is barking in your ears. Are you crazy? Are you stupid? He's just an idiot. It's the fifth loser in a row. Stop it right now. It doesn't work anymore. <laughs> I know this conversation in your inner meeting room. And the devil is standing on the table of your inner meeting room and is crying and shouting really loudly and says, are oh, you crazy? You waste all your money. And the angel is whispering in your ears, go on, go on, go on. Big numbers, go on. But the human factor, this is the human factor. So, and this is really hard to cope, guys. Believe me, it was this time I made this experience. And once, I have to confess, it's a couple of years ago, I guess more than 10 years right now, I made exactly this experience. I had a wonderful strategy, uh, trend trading at that moment, with a lot of combinations with other things. Not really a clear strategy, but I thought at that time I had one. And I made winners, but I always have my, had my drawdown phases, always. Three, four, five, six, even I stuck to my rules. And this made me so angry. And I remember that time, it was a really, really deep, dark, deep day, dark day. Uh, I was so angry, I hit with my hand at the door. It was a wood door. I broke all my, all my fingers here. It was, oh, it hurts really a lot. I was so angry because all my dreams, all my hopes were gone. And I couldn't understand why. And the guy who never felt a little bit like this, maybe not in this, not in this intensity, of course not. <laughs> not. Not everyone must hit the door, of course not. But if you never felt anger, or sadness, or craziness, or something else, then you never trade in real, never. Because trading brings out all this kind of emotions. And this is really hard to cope if you have your losers in a row. But let me comfort you a little bit. Most traders fail at this point because it's indeed hard to handle sex, uh, six or seven losses in a row, even if you know that it's the risk of a profit profitable strategy. Yes, you know that the angel on your right side is whispering in your ear, it's okay, it's okay, go on, it go, it's part of the game. But the devil on the left side is barking, Yo, are you crazy? Seven losses in a row. Are you stupid or idiot? Yes. That's reality, guys. That's reality. So, but that's the law of the big numbers. And it's hard to believe that after every loss, the next winner will come. It's hard to believe, but it is a fact, guys. And I, my mentor taught me in that way. He used to say, Marcus, keep patience. After every no of the market, the next yes must and will come. Trust it. And now you understand a little bit by, uh, beside why risk and trade management is the ultimate topic in trading. Cut your losses, let the winners run. But this is a kind you can only cope with the human factor. And about this number, this law of the big numbers, that it's hard to believe that after every loss, the next winner, next winner must come. 
even you have a profitable strategy, that's the basement, of course. We have the impact of human factor in trading. If your experience of having too many losses in a row, you're willing to change your strategy. Why is it? Again, you are not educated in that way. Your mindset doesn't work in that way. You will never, ever accept missing or a bad results in your job six, seven times in a row. Your manager will call you in his office and will is barking to you, he's shouting you, are you an idiot? What do you do outside there? What's your job? I, I kick you out. You will never do that. We are not used to do that in our job outside there. But in trading, it is a part of the game. And now you do the same like in your job outside there or in your family or whatever you do outside from trading, outside of trading. You try to adjust something else. Or if you have maybe 10 losers in a row, even, and this is the rule, even you stick to your rules always. If you make basic mistakes, then it's another topic. Then the mistake is you, but not the strategy. But we're talking about, let's pointing out this, that you are willing and that you stick to your rules always. But the law of the big number says, okay, now I have seven or eight losses in a row. And if you're an unexperienced trader, or if you never, or if you didn't change your mindset, that it shapes to your trading, you react in the same way you would act outside. You change your strategy. Because after the fifth, sixth, or seven losses in a row, or loss in a row, you think in your mind, it doesn't work. So you change your strategy. So while you can change your strategy, each strategy, guys, has its own math, numbers, and drawdown phase. We talked about 50 to 100 SMA. Maybe now you said, oh, and I take another strategy, maybe MLCD. And if I get a crossing in MLCD, I go long, and a crossing on the other side, I go short. You made a back test, and even MLCD crossing is a wonderful strategy. It works, it has a positive profit factor. But this is not the interesting number. It must be greater than one, of course. And it is, of course. But you have to have a look at the drawdown phase. And even this strategy has its own math, numbers, and drawdown phase. And now it's completely natural that even the best and strongest strategy will lead to some losses because it, it, uh, it's a part of the game. It's the law of big numbers. And as I told you, um, turtle traders, 70, 70% 70 drawdown phase, 70. Who will keep that? Who will hold it out? Please, That's, for that you must really be strong, really, really strong. And now the human factor forces us this is our mindset to react in a human way. And I did it. I did everything wrong, what you can ever make wrong, everything. I experienced a lot of strategies. I guess there are less, out, less strategies outside there. I, um, I didn't uh, experience. The only thing what I never tried to do was um, Ishimoku. This is the only one because I cannot understand this thing. And um, I'm a German guy. You can hear it in my English, of course. Uh, <laughs> I used to keep things really easily. And Ishimoku is too, too, uh, uh, too difficult for me. So, and the human factor is it forces us to react always in a human way. The human way because behind every account a human person stands. If something doesn't work, you try to fix it and will keep trying to do this until you get your wished result. This is the way how we are educated and how we work. 
And in most cases, this is the way life works. So what works in life won't work in trading, guys. Inexperienced traders react like this because this approach works in life, as I explained to you right now. This is the most common human behavior in trading, jumping from strategy to strategy. And after a while, you figure out the obvious. There isn't any strategy with no losses or drawdown phases, never ever. Otherwise, we wouldn't have any kind of trading anymore. And as a consequence, under the line, you lose more money than you win because you jump from strategy to strategy. Ultimately, you experience stress, anger, and fear. And believe me, at the end, you waste the valuable thing ever, your lifetime. Positive? Let's talk about the human behaviors can positively affect your trading. At that moment, you realize that you have to change your mindset and your way of thinking to cope that challenge of the big numbers and that losses in a row. Then you have the chance to become a successful trader. Then you start to understand that trading is a game of probabilities. And then you accept that you can do nothing to push your trades into a profit except sticking to your rules. This is, by the side, this is an energy stone that I can uh, give you a lot of energy for, through this webinar. And this leads you to the edge of your comfort zone. Did you ever realize that? You are on the right side of the chart, not left, right side. And you can do nothing to push your trades into the profit, nothing. Special quote, life begins at the end of your comfort zone. Write it down. Life begins at the end of your comfort zone. And if you understand that the big difference between your life and trading or between working with guarantees and safeties and probabilities in trading, then you start to trust your strategy, the math in it, and the market. Trust it. The three T's, trust the trend, for example. And this new kind of behavior always allow you to calm down. This is such a huge effect to your life because this new habits, this new attitude lets you be more calm in your life in general. Believe me, your wife and your kids were really grateful about that. There's a long road, guys, from being weak to being strong in trading indeed. The good news is it is possible and you can do it too. Of course, find your own strategy with numbers that you are feeling comfortable with. Accept the law of big numbers and your drawdown phases. It's a part of the best strategy. And it's completely normal that you will get stronger and stronger on your path. But not today, not tomorrow, not next week, not next month. It will take years to do that. Or otherwise you take a coach then maybe you can force it or you can make it a little bit faster. The last helpful tool for today, I know I'm almost done, another human trait. On your own path to accept your numbers, you will learn that money, once the reason we came to trading, of course, is just a means to an end. Money at itself never will make you happy. The things you can do with money that will make you happy. But first of all, we have to reward our money. The only way to turn your human weakness into strength is to find your real why. And if you lose money, even when sticking to your rules, you must have a strong why to accept this and continue trading over the long term. What is the real why? It's much easier to handle your drawdown phase if you have a strong why which is driving you. Stay focused on your real why, not money. 
And then you will find the how to become successful. What is the real why? Man is just means to an end. Is it a love to your family to provide them a better life? Is it having more freedom in your life or following your spiritual path? What is your real why behind making money? Believe me this one point, find your real why and the success will be yours. I can promise this. Really, really, I can promise. Let's make a short conclusion. Trading is a game of math, numbers, and most of all, humanity. Find your own strategy and you feel comfortable with. Please accept this inevitable things of numbers and draw down faces. It's a part of every kind of strategy. And on this path, you will find, you will reach the edge of your comfort zone. And there starts your life. If you feel a little bit fear, take a hand of your coach and he will guide you. Believe me, this one. And sit down, open your diary, and write down your real why. Because you have made a mixed experience, you cannot make money always. So money cannot be the real why, never. Because the real why, guys, is the foundation of become successful in trading. That was my part on Wednesday afternoon. If you want to hear more, if you want to follow my rules, if you want to follow my uh, path of trading, if you want to, want to follow my trades, join our exclusive trading spotlight community on Traders Yard. You can see it here. We have a special group from Paul, Jens, and myself. We support you. We will never left, leave a, a client behind of us. We will have success together with you. We want to accompany you on your own path to success. On Friday, in two days, my wonderful congenious partner, Jens Glatt, will talk about the double cross strategy, MICD, and stochastic indicator, including an introduction to the two indicators, why these work together, how you can work with it, and of course, real examples on Friday, same time, same day, same place. I want to say thank you for your lifetime. I hope I could give you a little bit energy. I hope I could give you a little bit insights in trading. And I wish you from the bottom of my heart the best for your trading. And be careful about your thoughts because they are the beginning of your actions. See you. Bye-bye.